everybody. I know it's been a long time since I've seen you all and I miss you all very much, but I hope you're having fun lots, learning lots of new things at home. And so today I'm going to be reading you a book called The Troll with Freddie here as well. Say hello, Freddie. I'm afraid he's only a baby, so he can't talk yet. Um, but The Troll is by one of my favorite authors called Julia Donaldson. Can you think of any other stories by the author, Julia Donaldson? Okay, let's begin. Are you ready, Freddie? The Troll. There once was a troll who lived under a bridge. That's where trolls are supposed to live. Meanwhile, far out at sea, there were some pirates who lived on a ship. That's where pirates are supposed to live. Trolls are supposed to eat goats, but no goats ever came trip-trapping over this troll's little bridge, so he ate fish instead. But one morning, he heard a faint noise on his bridge. Up he popped. And he said what trolls are supposed to say, which is, Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? I'm not trip trapping, I'm scuttling, said a tiny back black creature. And I'm a spider. Oh bother, I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have fur, said the spider. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, says the troll. You'll make a nice change from fish. <laughs> oh, please don't eat me, says the spider. Why don't you go further down the river to the next bridge? It's a much better bridge for goats. Hmm, I wonder if the spider was telling the truth. Right then, said the troll. So he packed up his frying pan and his cookery book and off he strode. Can you think about why the troll might have a frying pan and a cookery book? Hmm, I'm not sure. Now, pirates are supposed to dig for treasure and these pirates had a treasure map with a rhyme on it. Between the palm tree and the rocks, six foot deep lies a treasure box. They sailed and they sailed until they reached an island. This is the spot, said Hank Chief. Start digging. The pirates dug and they dug. But all they found was a grumpy mole. Mm. It must be the wrong island, they said. All that digging had made them hungry. Now it was Ben Buckle's turn to do the cooking and he cooked fish pie. It's soggy, said Percy Patch. It's Slimy, said Peggy Polkadot. When we find the gold, we can buy a decent cookery book, said Hank Chief. And they set sail again. <laughs> the troll was sitting under his new middling sized bridge, reading his cookery book. Suddenly, he heard a sound above his head. Up he popped. Who's that trip trapping under my bridge? He roared. Uh. I'm not trip trapping. I'm pattering, said a furry creature. And I'm a mouse. Oh, Bother! 
I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have longer ears, said the mouse. Never mind, said the troll. I'll eat you anyway. I'm getting sick of fish. Oh, please don't eat me, said the mouse. Why don't you go down to the next bridge? There are goats trip trapping over that one all the time. Very well, said the troll. And he packed up his things and off he strode. I wonder if there really were goats trip trapping over the next bridge all the time. Hmm. Meanwhile, the pirates had discovered another island. Is this going to be the island with the treasure? What do you think, Freddy? They dug and they dug, but all that they found was a rusty old bucket with a crab in it. It's the wrong island again, they said. Oh, I wonder how those pirates were feeling. What do you think? That night, Percy Pat did the cooking. He cooked fish soup. It's bony, said Ben Buckle. It's briny, said Peg Polka Dot. If only we could find the gold, we could pay for a proper cook, said Hank Chief. Now, the troll was frying fish under his new big bridge when he heard a sound up above his head. Up he popped. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? He bellowed. I'm not trip trapping, I'm lolloping, said a creature with long ears. And I'm a rabbit. <sighs> Oh, bother! I thought you were a goat, said the troll. No, goats have hooves, said the rabbit. Never mind, I'll eat you anyway, said the troll. Anything's better than fish. Oh, please don't eat me, said the rabbit. Why don't you walk to the, the, the next bridge? There are herds of goats tripping over, trip trapping all over that one. Are you sure? said the troll. Once again, he packed up and off he strode. Meanwhile, the pirates were digging on a new island. They dug and they dug. But all that they found was an old Wellington boot with a nest of centipedes in it. Oh dear. We'll never find the right island, they said. Now, that night, it was Peg Polka Dot's turn to do the cooking. She cooked fish cakes. There's Sticky, said Ben Buckle. There's Sandy, said Percy Patch. Hank Chief said nothing. He was too busy being sick over the side of the ship. Oh dear. The Trolls River grew wider and wider. And then it stopped being a river and it flowed into the sea. The troll found himself on a sandy beach. There isn't another bridge, he said. That rabbit was tricking me. But then he spotted some hoof prints in the sand. <gasps> a goat at last, he cried. He looked around, but he couldn't see any goats. 
Never mind, it will probably come back tomorrow, he said. The troll followed the hoof prints. They led him to a spot between a palm tree and two big rocks. I know, he thought, I'll dig a pit and then tomorrow the goat will fall into it and I can gobble it up. Hmm, I wonder what is going to happen. What do you think is going to happen? The troll dug and dug and dug with his frying pan. And just when he thought that the hole was deep enough, the pan hit something hard. It was a great big chest. What had the troll found? Perfect, said the troll. I can hide in here and keep warm. Then when the goat fall, falls into the hole, I'll open the lid and I'll pop up. He lifted the lid. The chest was full of round gold things. Hmm. These are no use to me, said the troll, and he threw them all into the sea. Then he climbed into the chest and he lay down. Tomorrow I can have goat for breakfast instead of fish, he thought as he drifted off to sleep. It was dark when the pirates arrived at the next island. This is the spot, said Hank Chief. Oh, but somebody's been digging here already, said Ben Buckle. Who had been digging there already? Don't say that they found the treasure before us, said Percy Patch. Ha! No, look, here it is, cried Peg Polka Dot. The chest was heavy. It must be full of gold, said Hank Chief, quick. Do you think that the chest was full of gold? Hmm. Let's go back to the ship before anybody stops us. The troll was woken up suddenly by a loud <gasps> bang. Ha! That's my breakfast falling into the hole, he thought. Hmm. But why was the chest heaving and swaying? And why was the lid opening? Surely goats can't open lids. The lid opened wide and staring down at the troll were four angry pirates. Where's the gold? shouted Hank Chief. I, I, I threw it into the sea, said the troll. The plank, the plank, yelled Ben Buckle and Percy Patch. Make him walk that plank. The next second, the pirates were pushing him onto it. Who's that trip trapping over my plank, jeered Hank Chief the pirate. I'm not trip trapping, I'm shuffling, said the troll. And I'm a troll. He reached the end of the plank. His knees were knocking. Jump, yelled the pirates. But just then, Peg Polka Dot came running up. Wait, she cried. I found something else in the chest. I wonder what had Peg Polka Dot found? What do you think she could have found? In one hand, she held the troll's frying pan and in the other, she held his cookery book. Stop, called Hank Chief. He looked at the troll in a new way. Can you cook? Asked Hank Chief. I wonder 
what he's thinking. Yes, I can, said the troll. Yes, shouted the pirates. Why do you think they were so happy? Then you can stay, said Hank Chief. Thank you, said the troll. And he shuffled back along the plank. When shall I start, said the troll. Now, said Hank Chief. The pirate showed the troll the ship's kitchen. The troll grinned. He turned to his favourite page in the cookery book. Shall I make us a nice goat stew? He asked. Goat? Goat? Pirates don't eat goats, said Hank Chief. We want what pirates are supposed to eat. And what's that, said the troll. Fish, said the pirate chief. Thank you very much for listening to that story, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully see you soon. Bye.